Pretty woman right there. All right, we told you we have a guest today. Joining us on the show is Nigerian sensational rapper, singer, and songwriter who sees his music path as a perfect tool of expression. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. H. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. How do you pronounce that, that though? You pronounce it H. H. Yes. It's you people are your, your C creative C ways. C as C as C yes, How did you think of the name? Did you just dream? So um before I was L H, right? From Larry Uva. But then like mm. using L H the prefix L, yeah, when you like it wasn't artist friendly, internet friendly. So when you Google it, you say a matador, you know it's like prefix oh, yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. from um Mexico. Yeah. yeah. So I decided that I need something like unique that as soon as you put that in, like that will go. Comes out. So then using the figure H, then the T C H. So it's like you are pronouncing half of it then TCH e, to make it H. So, you know, Wala. I'll be on top of it. Too much Wala. I remember when we were interviewing about two people we've interviewed on the show. We asked them, How did you get your name? They said, Ah, we dreamt it's of, it. of God. Yeah. 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 God. <laughs> why, why, why Larry Uva before? Why Larry Uva? So, birth name Larry. So, automatically because I was rapping, yeah, people started calling me that because they needed something tough. I mean, if you Google, check yeah, out like the name Larry yeah. 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 So it was something tough, but then it was not original for yeah. me. So I needed to, like, yeah, switch okay. it from that to Only something will big me, big me, Larry <laughs> Uba. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So now it. let's talk about how music, rapping, everything started from you. Let's go back to the inception. So, I mean, basically, like, I was, um, I mean, I, I was... I was brought up in an environment where like music was really like I don't know all over me. I mean like music, music, both local and international. Yeah. So in my own house, for example, my dad is listening to some Lagba jazz, some Jim Rev, some mm -hmm. I don't know Infinity, some like just some um, maybe Nizawa Bay, some barista. But then outside, yeah, there was this old man that usually like spin. You know these people that sell all those classic records oh, that time. Yeah, yeah. was playing cool. some. I laugh some. Ah. I can't remember this. I can't remember that guy's hey. name, that man's name. Kind of the fashion loud those oh. things. So if I was not listening to music in the house, yeah, I was outside. somewhere somewhere when you're outside, you listening. get like mm. so low key, I was just getting interested in, in okay. music. And the taste of my dad actually helped me in it wasn't just any our music yeah. He had like a good taste in like music. So oh. that really like helped me like pick up the whole music thing that I can do it. But then I started rapping, rapping. Yeah. When I heard Am I Safe. I heard Am ah. I Safe on TV that and I was like, yo. I At that time I was still writing <laughs> poems and doing that. Yeah, but I heard Am I Safe. I was like, I, this one, I'll start, start rapping too. I'll start rapping too. I mean, yeah, I, I, how, how is that going for you? Because we know how they say, like people say in Nigeria, Rapping, rap rapping, not, rapping. Yeah, that's so I mean now, that. see, the revolution will still be televised, so that you guys not keep oh, So now like <laughs> the, the old thing is actually like moving, right? First off, blowing is now relative. Hmm. So before, like the, the the pressure of blowing is you going mainstream. Yeah. So that means that you having a banger that is popping in club. Yep. But these days, indie artists, hotel artists are having their niche crowds that are doing it and this day self like with the help of like um technology yeah you be in lagos my this thing for example at a point uk was even like had more listen to stream my music more than, than, yeah. than, wow. more than lagos so first what was it called? away from lagos uk there are some even some countries that i see and be like ah i don't even know the name of this country and all of that so now talking about the rap scene right yeah as much as everybody is still a lot of people actually a lot of people are still talk, stuck to to the old um, DBT, DBT rap, like the type of rap that MI, yeah. them, yeah. did, them Tupac and all of that. Yeah. But when you actually check it, there are Nigerian rappers that are actually like doing things with rap. But you people will not give them the credit. <laughs> Which people? <laughs> Ladipo is doing good. Yeah, true. Um, Black Bones is doing true, good. Yeah, there are some other boys. There's Udumo, there's, there's, yeah. there's Psycho YP. There's a whole lot of artists that are now like doing, like infusing like the whole Afrovision into it. But a lot of people will say, no, they are not rapping. They are still rapping. So whether you like it or not, the, the it will be televised. It will be televised. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really like, I'm not pressured. I yes. I, I like not. the fact that you talked about um, the inspiration you had. Yeah. Growing up, yeah, you know, um, surrounded by music, and this is the story. It, this story is always um, 
other artists always have this kind of story where they grow up in the house, they listen to what their fathers are playing, the yeah. juju and all that stuff. But when you decided to do music, when you finally decided and said, you know what, I'm doing music, yeah. what was it like? What was the reaction of your parents? Did you get the support that you wanted at first? So, I mean, you know the typical <laughs> parent now. Go to school. You have to go to school. So, I mean, my dad was not, my dad's a bad guy, so it was not like really, mm -hmm. it was not really like, he didn't really have a problem, right? But then, of course, you have to go to school. It was my mom that was like, you have to go to school. But I mean, at a point, right, as a child, you will prove to your parents that, you know what you are doing, quote unquote. Yeah. So, yeah. so far you are doing what you are doing. Okay, you can. Because yeah. like I remember, first proper studio session was my mom that gave me the money. Oh wow! wow. Uh, like yeah, my first ever studio session was my mom that gave me money. Nice. But then it was around like maybe three hundred, and she, she already like gauged like okay, he's not doing bad in school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go on, so you have go to be doing, doing well. Like fruit of labor. Yeah. So yeah, just, 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 just to follow up on that question. So we have situations in America, for instance, when they know as a child that. This is what you want to do. Yes, sir. Right? You have Kanye West, for instance. He went to school. He studied music. Yes, yes, yes. Did all that. Yes, Even Fela went to school and studied music at yes, some yes. point. So we have situations here where parents will say, go and study. What did you study, by the way? English and international relations. Yeah. So do you think that if you had the opportunity to study music and do all that, would you have done that differently? Um... I don't know, I don't have any regrets because I feel like, so away from like existing as an artist here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, I like existing in other things too. Because mm -hmm. at the point in your life, the whole artistry will end, mm -hmm. like really end. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I had like studied music, right, I would just be existing in that, in that world, mm -hmm. and which I don't think that's my own kind of personality. Okay. So I, I like the fact that they made me actually still function in other um, mm -hmm. space here, yeah, and I was yeah. still able to find like music. I was still going to find it regardless. Yeah. So I mean, I, I don't have any regrets okay. about 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 that. Right. Okay. So we've seen so many artists, rappers, musicians come out to do things, and people compare compare them to other people, saying they sound like this person or that person. Have you at any point in time gotten any remarks like you sound like someone or you copied someone? <laughs> and uh, if not, who are your musical influences? Who influences your rap? your style, everything. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're saying those that influence my rap, Emma Abaga, big shout out. J. Cole, mm. Lagbaja, Brimo. And why I feel like all these people actually like, why they influence me is because they pay so much attention to the substance that they give out. Mm. Me, for example, sometimes I actually like, like just pinch myself and say, bro, you talk too much. If you, I released the whole catalog like of music, right? It's an EP yeah. called Ceiling Conversations, just from the name alone. Ceiling, Ceiling Conversations, Conversations oh, just wow. from the okay. name alone. You can check that out, right? It was just relatable stories. When you listen to it, right? Yep. If you don't cry, your emotion will shall build for your body. Mm. And that's like the kind of music they're actually doing. And I have to like pinch myself sometimes, like do some other like yeah. some other like stuff here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now like. I'm influenced by these people because when you check them to, out of like maybe 70% or 100% of their catalog, right? 70% or 60% out of it is speaking, like, is, is giving you something like substantial away from like, yeah. so those are like, those are influence me and that's the path that I feel like I want to actually like work in. Okay. Okay. But you still hear me think about, <laughs> <laughs> don't get it twisted. We still have rapper, singer, and songwriter in the building, AJ, and we're having fun talking to him, talking about his Thank journey so far. That video is amazing. Thank you um, What's the plan when it comes out? I mean, I know they will not put so many things in place. So what's the plan? What's the I plan? mean, radio, we did our radio this thing for the song already. So I mean, now that the visual is out for it, we're trying to like go to TV. Big shout out to TVC for having us. It's Splash. I mean, you guys are actually open the door already for that TV <laughs> interview. So, yeah. I mean, we follow up with this. <laughs> we do it. We do it here. We're the best. Yeah. yeah. That's how we shout do. out to you guys. That's how we shout do. What, what is Mario? Mario. Mario oh. now, Mario the game now. Mario the they get the easy play. No, it's not the easy play. So I mean, Naeem. Naeem. It, it depends on how you want to use. So like <laughs> Mario, you can use the song as a pickup like uh, you can use the song as a lover boy. So it depends on whatever you actually want to yeah. mm. whatever angle you're coming from, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, so what should we expect from H? Now the video is out. Yeah. I'm sure you have other projects in the work. Yep. What should we expect from you? What are so you I have like, I have, I have four um, projects out already, body of work out already. What? Yeah, bro. 
So my fifth one will be dropping this year. So oh. like this is like a lead single, like yeah. off it. And this time around, it won't be anything too serious. <laughs> it's like a bit of seriousness and a mm. bit of mm. unseriousness, mm. quote unquote. So that will be dropping later this year. I mean, before after after Mario, is uh, is, there's a possibility Super that Mario. we would actually like. <laughs> <laughs> there's a possibility Super that two. there's a possibility that we drop another like single. Then yeah. after the single, okay. we go to the project. So I, I want to ask you a question, which a lot of artists have been talking about. I mean, we had Ben Sincom talk about it. We've had uh, Black Bones. A lot of people, even um, Ruga, it, it, it caused chaos recently. Um, I'm talking about promotion of um, music. Yeah. You know where they have they have this farm. They said yeah. there's a farm where the they, farm, they right. pay for it, yeah. and it affects the the new artists. It affects yeah. people, um, new guys coming on the scene. Yeah. I mean, for instance, I saw today that they were talking about TikTok. So TikTok used to be organic. Yeah. Yep. Now they, they said there is actual well. payment for it. So yes, how does that affect? Um, Push market up, right now for you. My bro, it affects a lot. I won't even lie about it. Because <laughs> when you actually sit down with a proper music ex executive, right, that's trying to like that knows the game, right? Mm -hmm. If you hear the budget that they are talking about. That's <laughs> 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 just go to the set spent how much you're supposed to. It's the it's the yeah. grace of God that will actually take you there. And another thing is that like it really takes people that are that probably believe in like an upcoming act to want to do something for you. Mm. And I understand how things work. So for example, when a whiskey song comes out, for example, yeah. and AOP will spin it normally because yeah. the AOP is driving traffic to a show because, because like people want to mm. listen. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then if you're an upcoming artist, they know that is the only way they can actually make money some way, yeah. somehow. Mm. As soon as you blow, mm. they don't have any leverage on yeah, you true. anymore. So the upcoming is the market for everybody and now the market is now getting even wider and wider and wider yep, before it probably used to be just do radio and do tv and do couple mm -hmm. djs then you're okay now you do influencer you do playlisting you yeah. do bro <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not it's not it's not it's not, not, it's not, it's not being so it's not <laughs> it's not being at all don't it's you worry we wish you the very best yeah, thank in you very your much. music career mm -hmm. yeah, and thank, thank you so much for coming on the show thank you very much for all having right me.